welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing my favorite video, the Pan That Palette Project Pan of the Year. So I do have some exciting updates for you and some not so exciting updates, but I hope you will enjoy and keep on watching. Um, before we get into it, I hope you will click that subscribe button. I am still working on my video schedule, but I am crossing my fingers and hoping to really get back to Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday videos. But make sure to click the subscribe and the bell button so you are notified as soon as I post a video. All right, and without further ado, let's jump into it. So, my very exciting progress which I was shocked by because I thought I wasn't really using this palette enough. I was playing with new palettes and experimenting with things. And I just thought, I'm not giving this enough attention as I should. And I think that's when I started really using it consistently. And that's when I hit pan on a new shade. So this is my ABH Soft Glam palette. I have been working on this since January. I started working on it a little bit last year. So I did have some empty pans already. And now we are just continuing to make progress until hopefully all the shades I want are used up. Now the funny thing is, is that the shades that I'm actually aiming for have not hit pan. I wanted to hit pan in all of these shimmer shades and once I used up the shimmer shades I would decide whether or not I would keep going with the rest of the palette. But currently I have pan in a new matte shade. So. If we look down here at burnt orange, I now have pan in this shade. Or no, I think I had pan in this shade. It's the orange soda. I apologize. So last month I had pan in burnt orange and I've now made the pan bigger and now we have pan in orange soda. And I continue to use these two shades with glistening here, which does not have any pan. And I've also used bronze a few times this month but still no pan. So currently I have pan in two, four, five shades and the rest of these shades I'm still working on. So I mean I'm still enjoying it, I'm still loving it, it's my go-to when I don't want to think about what I want to put on, when I'm going to work I use this palette pretty much most days, not every day because again I like to play with color if I've got a purple outfit on then I want a purple look usually, things like that. But I think one day soon I will hopefully hit pan and bronze. You can kind of see the dip in bronze. And then also in glistening here. Glistening. There we go. But uh, fairy is just going hard. <sighs> May never hit pan and fairy. I don't know. But the point is, is that I am trying to hit pan in the four shimmer shades and somehow I keep hitting pan in all of these mattes and not the shimmers. So <laughs> we'll see. This is an interesting turn of events because I said once the shimmers are gone I'll just probably be done with the palette. But now I'm using up all of the matte shades that go so well with these shimmers and I will not know what to do. So I guess we'll just keep going and see where that gets us. Um, I did start weighing this this month. I'm not sure. I should have checked the other videos. But I don't know. So now I've put it on my Project Pan spreadsheet so I know to update it every month. And so this month our palette was at 162 grams. So we're making some decent progress. I'm going to continue using this. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not sure what order I'm putting up all these videos in. But I just filmed a get ready with me on this look, so make sure to stick around for that. But uh, I will be using this when I go out of town. I'm planning on going to see my mom for six weeks and over the summer. And I will be taking this with me, so there will be some more progress. Now for the not so great progress. And I keep saying this every month and finally I have decided to at least just put this back in my collection and come back to it later. Again, I'm going on vacation soon. I wanted to get a palette that I knew I would use and enjoy. So let's talk about the palette that I have right now. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow palette. And as you can see, there's not a lot of progress. I have used the blush a few times this month and it is very pretty, 
but it's just, you know, it's getting older, it's very thick, it's drying out. I'd probably have to scrape the top layer off and keep trying then. But it's just not what I'm in the mood for right now. I thought in spring I would get excited to use it, but I hate, I don't love the highlight in there. The bronzer is pretty dry, and now the blush is starting to get dry. So I'm going to scrape off the tip, top layer and revisit this at a later date. But for now, this isn't making any progress. Um, let's see. It was at 119 grams last month and when I introduced it, and now it's still at 119 grams. So I'm rolling this out. Um, if you've watched my Project Pam videos, you know that every four months I can roll things out, so I'm kind of sticking to that idea when it comes to the face palettes. It's a new season. Again, I'm going on vacation, so I wanted something a little more versatile, something I could use a lot more. So this is getting rolled out, and I'm rolling in. A brand new palette so who knows how long this will take me but this is my hourglass ambient lighting edit sculpture palette and this is what we look like so it is pretty brand new I've used that middle blush a few times I've used the highlight and a couple times but besides that this is basically a brand new palette so I thought I know I'm gonna use it while I'm on vacation I do love the formula for hourglass products especially their um, ambient powders, the finishing powders, and I love their brushes and their bronzer. So I thought this would be a great palette to take with me to travel. If it's the only palette I pack and it's the only face products besides some of my Project Pan items, then I'll really get a lot of use out of it. So this we should see some more interesting progress on. Might not be the best, but it'll be interesting. Um, so this palette started at 149 grams. So, next month we will see how much progress we can make. I don't know if we can make a ton of progress, especially because I'm going to pre-film my next panning video before I leave, but at least by June we should definitely see some progress. So, those are my palette updates. I would love to know what you guys are panning at the moment. Can't talk all, all of a sudden. Um, I would love to know what palette you're panning this year. If you are doing a Pan That Palette YouTube, please comment down below. Tell me your YouTube. I would love to follow you and keep up with progress. I feel like that really motivates me watching other people's Pan That Palette progress. It makes me remember, oh hey, I have one of those. I should be working on it. And then I actually get some use out of my products. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Hope you're staying safe and taking care of yourself, mental health first, and I will see you in the next one.